not obligated to buy you and your friends a drink if I'm trying to talk to you at a party or at a bar. Yes, you are. Yes, the fuck you are. You owe me a drink and you owe my friends a drink. Stop that broke shit. That's a broke man mentality. Only a broke man think like that. Yo, yo, what's good? It's your mans, your comrade, your homie. Another one. Jay Netta, hell of a editor, Ron Predator. Let's get right into it. This one is a good one. This is one a little bit triggering. If you can't afford to buy me and my friends, or if you can't afford to buy her and her friends drinks, then you don't deserve us. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get right into this one and see what it is. Whoops. All right, here we go. I hate when a man be like, oh, I'm not obligated to buy you and your friends a drink if I'm trying I'm to talk to you. I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not obligated to buy you and your friends drinks. And this has happened to me before. I'm a, a good story about that coming up. Good, quick story I got coming up about that. But I'm not. You out of party or out of bar. Yes, you are. Yes, the fuck you are. You owe me a drink and you owe my friends a drink. Stop that broke shit. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. That's a broke man mentality. See, then they, that's a broke member. Then they try to get into the shaming. No, 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 no. Don't, don't allow them to get you into that shaming. Yes, ma'am. I can afford to buy you and your friends drinks. I can probably buy you, your friends, and maybe about 10 to 12 other people a drink right now. That don't mean I'm going to do it. I can also afford a freaking parachute. I'm not going to buy one and jump off a bridge. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. Okay. Only a broke man think like that. If you're broke, just say that. A man that's getting money don't care about buying a few beautiful female a drink. No, no. A man that's getting money does care about that. A smart man that's getting money does care about buying people drinks. What am I spending my money for? If I get you a drink in a club, I own you for at least two hours, two, three hours. If I get you a drink... Or for as, at least as long as that drink lasts, I own you. you. That means you dancing with me. You showing me love. You, it, there's so much that comes with that. Now, there is another side to that. There is another side with no strings attached where if we just vibing out and the conversation is hitting and it's a great convo, everyone's in on it. It's like, a, it's like, yo, you know what? Next round on me, yeah. But if it's on some other, like I'm obligated to, and what's the big deal with a drink anyway? It's a drink. It's a drink. It's not. We can literally. You can literally walk down the block, and for the same amount we about to pay for this drink, you add maybe eight dollars onto that. We could get a whole bottle. Oh my god! Wow. Depending on what you're drinking, we could get a whole bottle. If it's Henny, throw eighty dollars. We could get an eight. Come on. So it's like make it make sense. And that's principle. That's not attractive. Stop it. It's not attractive. You You're not attractive. No money to buy Respectfully. And you see, I'm with my friends. Just wait till I go to the bathroom or when I'm leaving. And I'm and I'm and I'm gonna respect that more. Cause you got morals now. And I got. How is that morals by if I can't afford to buy you a drink, waiting for y'all to go to the bathroom, and then leave? I don't get that. I don't understand that logic, ma'am. I don't got no morals. How the hell are you gonna come to a group of females only buying me a drink? You trying to disrespect me in front of my friends? Stop it. Get some help. I'm gonna curve you. I'm gonna take the drink and then curve you. Before we continue on, <sighs> then curve you. I just caught on to what she said. Before we continue on, if you enjoy so far, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bells, bell so that you're notified as soon as I drop new material, a new piece for you guys to enjoy. Join the family, God level. Let's get it. Where are you gonna do that at? Stop it. Stop it. It's a bar. You're supposed to be buying female drinks. It's a bar. Oh, it's a bar. Okay. I just, right. um, okay. <laughs> um, all right. It's a lot do to unpack. Agree? I'm glad I unpacked it. Do you understand where she's coming from and do y'all agree with what she's saying? I don't know. Yeah, I don't no, think a man is obligated to buy your Thank drink, you. Man. Your homegirls a drink at, at the bar. I don't think so. He not Okay, y'all got some sense. That's kind of crazy. Like, she said he not obligated, I mean, but... She broke. If she looking for a nigga to buy yeah, my drink. No, exactly. Okay, y'all keeping it real. Yeah, make sure he get us drinks, bitch. No, we ain't doing that. Like, that's... Mm. No, I don't even make... I don't even know where that come from. I don't know. I mean, I know where it come from because a lot of women go to the club 
and they don't bring a dollar with them because they're expecting them exactly. to buy them drinks. Exactly. Exactly. Go, this is so wallet, true. They don't have it like how we have it. See, y'all don't have to think about that when it comes to going to the club or going out on dates, whether you want to get to know somebody or not. It's like, if we're going to get to know each other, we can meet up at a coffee shop. We can meet up at a library. We can meet up at the park when it's warm enough outside. Like, we do not, I, I don't have to pay $200 for you to eat, for you and I to eat just to get to know you. That's an investment right there, especially for me. $200, I could put that into crypto. Like, are you serious? And then, only to find out I may not like you. You may not look the same that you did in the pictures. Like you may be bigger. You may be smaller. You may you may look different makeup wise. It's like nah. Like I could put that money in the crypto. It's different if we get to know each other through other means, or if we meet, or if what I call meeting on the humble. Meeting on the humble simply means like when you meet somebody at school, or when you meet, when you go to a cookout. Let's say you go to a cookout. Your family's having a cookout, and they introduce you to a female and like, yo, hey, yo, yo, Gerald, this is, this is Sharena. We're just gonna make up a name. Yo, Gerald, this is Sharena. Sharena, this is Gerald. So now y'all meet, y'all, it's almost like you've been co-signed. The, the environment has already been set for you. There's drinks, there's family around, everybody's comfortable. Depending on how your family reacts towards you, it's gonna determine whether or not she's gonna be attracted to you or not, but it's easier. You're meeting them on the humble. Also, when you meet somebody at work, it goes down. Meeting people at work, meeting people at school is meeting people on a humble and an environment where their guard is down is meeting someone on the humble, period. It's not in a club. It's not at dinner. None of that. We got to get that to the crazy. point where I can get you a that drink. We're we not going we to front y'all like y'all. Y'all get, no. get, get in for free. Y'all get free drinks. Y'all get into niggas' sections. I mean, they don't all get in for free, but the the good looking ones like, do. Out, like, I mean, but mean? then you walking out with nothing, though? Like, you thinking that I got you like that? I mean, I'm walking out with nothing. I just think y'all know what y'all got. You know what's so crazy? If it was a thing right now to get drinks of kool-aid at the club that's what we would be talking about right now this is how ridiculous this concept is and i get it it's like a show of status like if you can afford to buy me drinks what else can you afford but niggas could front too surprise motherfucker niggas could put together their little bit of bread just for that one night perception is everything it's drinks it's ain't been law for you guys forever like men go to the club buy y'all drinks Shit, now it's getting fucked up. A nigga buy y'all a drink and y'all pass it to y'all homeboy. A nigga like, what? Get my shit back. So I snatch your wig off. True story. I done heard some stories about some shit like that. That almost went down. The homie bought the chick. Bought bottle. A bottle. Not a bottle. Bought two drinks. No, excuse me. Four shots. And the chick was acting like she was going to give it to... I'm not going to get into the story because that's the homie. But it's a crazy story. A woman actually tried to get him to get drinks for her and other dudes. <laughs> and he's definitely, definitely not that type. So it didn't go down. But facts to what he's saying. That happens. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they sound like they from the town. He sound like he from the town. Him over here. Yeah, I was, I was going to say that actually, but. Yeah, so what what do you think she would get that mentality from? Were you Maybe all of them, Honestly, but he definitely. I just feel like this type of generation, mm. like they just want some nigga. I don't know. Yeah, they all sound like they're from the town. Over hills for them, like on some like, baby, I'll do whatever you want. Like mm. you and your friends want drinks, I got you. They want their cake and eat you it got too. Any money, I got you. Like I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, they want eight no dudes somehow. and one dude, Maybe. like the I'm, rich I'm dude, good looking dude, the flat dude that's good at sex, the dude like. I don't even like. I'm not even. No, I'm not surprised that she feels that way because there's niggas out here that's doing exactly what. Shout she's out saying. to this that podcast, is. yo. You know what I'm so I can't be mad if she feels that way because. Shout I'm out to them, yo. Daily like wrap up crew. She probably think that's the standard. Let me subscribe so to them real quick. Boom, and let me hit that notification bell for all like y'all should be doing with my video. You you broke because you don't want to buy uh, a bunch of beautiful women. Who said your friends was beautiful, bro? Like, <laughs> and, and, and this is a this is this is what I'm saying. Like thinking you the prize when you really not. Thinking you the prize when you really burgers and fries. Like, come on, you really not. You just a burger. You just a burger. Don't get it twisted. Sometimes you do get that 
that chicken ricotta. I like chicken ricotta. Sometimes you do get that chicken ricotta, that full course meal, but most of y'all be burgers. Let's just be real. Like the majority of people, majority of y'all women just be average. Just like the majority of men are average. Like I'm not saying I'm above average. I'm your average dude. Like, and I'm okay with that. I accept that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't walk around thinking I could get Beyonce or get a, a Beyonce type. Like, come on, I stay in my lane. Stay in yours. The world is a stage. Play your role, man. Yeah. I, I came here to talk to you. I didn't even see them. Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, what I got? I like them. I fuck with them. <laughs> they definitely from the town. Brooklyn. He got the Brooklyn. I didn't even see that. Every time I went out, I bought a female a drink, right? And I, whether I never seen a female ask a dude if, hey, you want a drink. I mean, never. So I get that part. But it is the nigga's fault. I, and there you go. Modern women wanting traditional women benefits. Getting the drink back in the day was something you did when women were more what? Say it with me now. Feminine. The type of woman that would, I saw this in a video the other day, but it was so good. He said the type of woman that would like drop her keys on the ground. And when a dude saw it, he would be like, excuse me, ma'am. He'd pick it up like, excuse me, ma'am. You just dropped your keys. And then she'd be like, oh, did I? And then they get that opportunity to talk. He got the opportunity to be a man, picked up her keys, saved the day. She gave him that opportunity. That's true. That's truly being a feminine woman, giving a man an opportunity to be masculine. Major key. If you out here trick, I mean, I find that in a way of tricking. If you just doing it, because she's using reverse. It is tricking. That's a good point. That's tricking. Y'all niggas out here like, damn, she giving me the, she giving me the jewels right now. I gotta buy all of them. I ain't broke. I, I show you got money. I show you got money. And a nigga broke tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And I just said that. Holler at me when I'm going to the bathroom. I just said that a dude could go. Yo, a dude could take his whole entire check take it to the club, and just spend it that night. Even if you're working at Mickey D's, this is before they was 15 an hour. Jeez, they 21 an hour in some places. Hey, that's pretty good. But even if he was working at Mickey D's when it was like eight an hour, you could potentially save your whole check and go to the club and with one chick, keep buying her, not bottles, but drink after drink after drink. And she might think you got it like that. It's, it's, it's crazy. Perception is everything. I like the daily wrap up, bro. Fuck with y'all. If I'm trying to slap, I'm not buying ten drinks. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. I don't know if I'm trying to slap. What's the minimum? It depends. Slapping both, or am I just slapping? Trying to get at that? Like, you know, if I'm trying to get at both, I'm buying a drink. If I'm getting at both, we might get a bottle. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. We definitely don't agree with that. You ever had a girl like like try to give like kind of like tell you like you know like you know get me and my girl's drink or ever ask you Ah, uh, you know what's so crazy? This reminds me of a story. If you're still rocking out, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe. I, I hope I said that earlier. I should have said it earlier. Whatever. If you're rocking out, you're going to subscribe anyway. But this reminds me of a quick story. Shout out to Low Key. One day I'm in a club. This is like literally, right now it's 2022. This is literally 2005, 2006, right? I forget which company I'm working for. Maybe Sprint, maybe Cablevision. Money was great, right? So anyway, me and my cousin, we in a club called Envy. Club called Envy. We downstairs, I had two floors at this time, right? We had a beautiful time. This was July. This is July 4th, is it actually. <laughs> this is great. This is July 4th, probably... 2005 2006 sometime around that so we're in the club nice club nice environment it's cool you know glowing floors and everything so i see a table four females sitting at this table i'm not gonna lie they were banging i'll give them a six seven point three average at the table so some eights some sixes but they was nice looking four of them Walk up to the table, no locks, no beard at this time, straight up waves and a gold tee, whatever, right? I'm a, a lot more stocky at this time also, right? Start talking to one. Hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. What's your name? She's like, oh, my name is such and such. Um, First thing she says, first round on you? 
<laughs> and I'm like, first round of what? It's four of her friends there, mind you, right? I'm like, first round of what? She's like, no, no. She's like, stop playing. First round of you. First round of whatever we drinking on you. Family, when I tell you, I looked at her like she had 10 different heads and I walked away. Why are you running? Why are you running? And the story, that was because I didn't do it. I, I, I didn't do it. So more of the story, I wouldn't do it. And I had the bread. I literally had to. Ugh. One day, we're going we gonna to get into the story of what went on at that time, though. Y'all ever felt that or like? I don't think. Have y'all ever done that? Have y'all done it? That's bye, bye, girl, like, Never like, done it. Have her friends no, no, no. Now, I have bought drinks for multiple women before at a club party, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But it's because it's been a situation where the vibe almost warranted it. It was such a dope vibe. You wanted to keep the vibe going. Oh, no, nah, let me get this round. And then they like, oh, no, nah, let me get the next round. Like stuff like that. Very different. Oh, I heard a friend. No. No, no, no. Why? Okay, but why? Right. But what? Like, why, it never why, came like, to mind. Like, I'm just asking. I just want to know. Just oh, I mean, like, why would I be buying your friend a drink if I'm not even talking to your friend? Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm, 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 be, I'm gonna be honest with you. The most. All right, if you want to get his opinion, what he about to say, go ahead, watch the rest of the video. You can check it out. Link's gonna be in the description. But I don't care. That's what I have to say. Like, if 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 someone tells me I can't, I should. What, what, what's the title of the video before I get into it? Oh, just say that. Well, it's not that I just got to say that because now that's that's another way of shaming you. Just because I don't want to buy you drinks doesn't mean I'm broke. It means you don't motivate me to want to buy you a drink. There is a situation where I'd be willing to probably buy you and all your friends a drink. You just ain't that situation. Deal with it. Fellas, we out. I'm Jay Netta. Hell of a editor. Ron Predator. You know somebody better, bruh. T -t -t Tell him to set it up.